earthly father for the things that you do wrong when you were growing, for the things you did wrong when you were growing up, for the children that you're raising, how they have to give an account for the things that they do wrong. We will, we will have to give an account for the things that we've done in the earth, but it will never stop God from loving us. His love is unconditional. Look at what Ephesians 1 and 4 says, or, or, or just listen as I read. You can write it down and go back and look at it uh, 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 in, your, in your study time. But he says, he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Christ Jesus in accordance with his pleasure and will. I'm in the will of God. You're in the will of God. It's the will of God that we are a part of the family of, uh, uh, of God. That we are a part of the body of Christ. He chose us. That's what the scripture said. He chose us before the creation of the world. He knew. He knew who was going to accept him. He knew who was going to accept him at a young age. He knew who was going to accept him when they got older. He knew. He knows who's going to accept him on their deathbed. He knows who's going to accept him at the judgment day. He knew. He chose. He, he predestined. He, he, he knew before the creation of the world. And he adopted us as sons through Christ Jesus in accordance with his pleasure and will. His love, y'all, is unconditional. Now, just because his love is unconditional doesn't give you carte blanche to go do what it is you want to do knowing that your God is going to love you. See, because the Bible says, if you love me, mm -hmm. we'll talk about this next week, but the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. How many of you by a show of hand can say, I'm keeping God's every commandment. Mm -hmm. I don't want you better raise your hand. <laughs> Amen. Even the best that you're praying. I'm just kidding. Just try and count. Try. <laughs> We're all trying. Not that. That's the thing. God wants us to try. That's the beautiful thing. We get to try every day. Even, even as we fail. Even as we miss the mark. God says, continue to strive. Amen. But his love for us is unconditional. Here's the reason why we love God, why we should love God. You should love God because there is nobody that is going to love you like God loves you. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't care, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife. There's nobody that's going to love you the way that God loves you. There's nobody who has the ability on the earth to love you the way that God loves you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're faced with on your job. I don't care what your relationship looks like. I don't care how your kids are acting. I don't care any, any of that. There is nobody that is going to love you like you. You can't even love yourself <laughs> the way that God loves you. We beat ourselves up. I do it a lot too. We beat ourselves up when we don't do something that we set out to do, like, I don't know, lose weight or, 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 or. <laughs> talk about me now, talk about nobody else. <laughs> but but we, 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 we beat ourselves up. I was sitting, I was sitting down yesterday uh, 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 on the couch and I looked down and I said, man, I got to start running again. <laughs> but I beat myself up over and over and over again. And God has said, listen. Yeah, I want you to be healthy. I want you to be. I want you to be uh, uh, in good shape. I want you to exercise so your heart can pump and and, and, and every, uh, your organs can work right and all that good stuff. But I still love you with your fat self. <laughs> Amen. 
Sometimes we look at ourselves with disdain. We, we look at ourselves like, like we don't even love ourselves because of, the, because of the, the way that we live or because of where we live or because of the job that we have or because of the company that we keep. We, we get on ourselves. We beat ourselves up and we have so much hatred for ourselves. And God is saying, you got to love you because I love you. <laughs> That's a reason that we love God because God loves us better than we can love ourselves. You need that in your life. You need that kind of love in your life. You, when, when you're having a bad day, when you're having a down, a down period, when, you're, when it seems like the season that you're in is just all bad, look to the heavens. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Knowing that your help comes from the Lord and knowing that the Lord your God loves you unconditionally. No matter what you're going through, no matter who you're having problems with, no matter what kind of money you make or what kind of car you drive. He loves you. Amen. No matter what they say about you on your job. No matter what they, what they think about you uh, 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 in your community. God loves you. And people need to hear that. People need to hear that God loves them. Even when they're doing wrong. Try it. Just try it one time. On your job. Somebody, somebody not doing what they're supposed to do. And, 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 or, or they're going through a situation uh, outside of work. And they're bringing that situation into work. Watch this. If you just tell them. You just pull them aside and say, you know what? I know it's, it, it's, it's evident to me that you're going through a bad moment. It's evident to me that, that something's going wrong in this season of your life. But I want you to know something today. I want you to know that God loves you more than the problem that you're going through. Mm -hmm. More than the situation that you find yourself in. God loves you. Amen. It will turn a circumstance around. It will turn somebody's heart completely around. It will bring the, the, sav <clears throat> the savage beast down to a calm kitten. Just try it. When you yourself are going through something, look in the mirror and say, God loves you more than you love yourself. God loves you unconditionally, without condition. That means there's nothing, there's nothing that I can do, nothing that I can say that will stop him from loving me. That's a, that's a good thing to know. That's a, that's a promise that you, need to, that you need to understand and have on your, on your lips. The, 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 second thing, the second characteristic that we need to understand about God's love for us is that it's from everlasting to everlasting. Okay, wait a minute now. It's unconditional, but it's also from everlasting to everlasting. Now, wait a minute. Uh, from everlasting to everlasting, uh, that means from the beginning of time to uh, a, a time of eternity, which I can't even I can't even fathom in my humanness. Um, okay, so if he loved me from the beginning, even be, even before my my actual beginning in the earth, he loved me when I was just a thought, when I was just a, a, a seed. Now, before he planted me in my mother's womb, he loved me. Uh, uh, so that denotes a, a time far, far, uh, uh, far, far from where you are today. Mm -hmm. And he loves me to everlasting. That denotes a, a, a time far, far from where you are today. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? You can't even fathom the, 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 the time. Listen, God could have thought about you before Christ came into the earth. Jesus. Look at what I mean, look at what the words say. I'm not, I'm not making that up. What did he say in the... Uh, before the, he chose us in him before the creation of the world. So wait a minute. Before the creation of the world, was Jesus, was Jesus in the earth when the world was created? No, he was in the heavens with God. So even before Christ came to the earth, God had already loved you. He had already chosen you. You were already in his perfect plan. You were already in his will for this particular moment in time. You were in the plane. We can't even fathom that. We can't even fathom being around as a thought in, Christ, in God's mind before he sent his only son to die on the cross for the sins that he already knew. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, wow. That's love. 
from, from everlasting to everlasting. He knew 